Reporting to you live from Nerd Central over here. Day two. Well, first I have to say, I have had nothing but technical difficulties, and that's how it would be on the first night. Um, recorded two whole videos, both of them were gone, battery died, had to move over to my phone, phone had no more storage, so got it figured out, and here we are. Because that is what this is all about, I'm recognizing. It's the spirit of momentum. So Matt, first and foremost, thank you for setting up this challenge. Because it reminds me of what we talk about all the time. As partners, as business owners, as friends, that life is about momentum, moving forward, problem solving, having a solution-oriented mindset. So already tonight, uh, that's where we are. Um, I will tell you though, that if I don't post, you are never, well, I'll pay for a massage, but you're never getting a massage from me. I know that's not what you were insinuating, but just to make it clear, uh, this guy's not massaging you. So what do we do in your stay creative? Well, uh, gardening. So we've built a four foot by eight foot uh, raised bed garden in our backyard. Um, the girls have been involved too. We filled it with dirt. We realized we didn't have enough dirt. Went back and got some more dirt. And today we planted our first bed of crops. Tomatoes, cucumbers, squash. We put some oregano, some lemon thyme, and some sage in there as well. Um, and then we have an herb garden up on the deck as well. So that has been super exciting. And just the act of creation. You know, you're taking a seed or you're, you're transplanting a plant. You're going to watch it grow and you have to nourish it and, 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 and help it to kind of thrive. Um, I mean, if that isn't part of creation, I don't know what is. So staying creative in that way has been great. Um, what else are we doing? Cooking. Yes, you know I love to cook. Uh, we did this badass vegan fried chicken the other day made from tofu. Um, but it involves freezing the tofu, thawing it out, freezing it again, and then thawing it out again and pressing the water out. You get this really amazing structure and texture. And then when you bread it, um, we air fried it, we also baked them. It's, it's like, uh, all I know is, Next time we see each other and I make it, you gotta try it because it's it, your mind will be blown. You know, that plus being as actively involved as a parent as I can be, I mean, you know, I have really made it a point to be as hands-on as possible because I don't want Crystal to bear the weight. As you know, I just came off of a four-month, five-month uh, TV show and she was dealing with the brunt of newborn plus two little girls and as you know we moved to an apartment uh, close to the sound studio their sound stages so um, it was a lot of weight on her shoulders and now with this kind of unprecedented situation being able to be here and support has been not only hugely helpful for her but really has allowed us to reconnect in some very deep and meaningful ways um, I, I think it's amazing that, you know, we're able to keep pushing forward, all of us, you, us, and find ways to not only be creative individually, but now with something like this, come together and discuss what's going on. I love what you're doing every week with your, your corn tiki hour. I think that's beautiful. And as I told you, Crystal and I want a signature drink. Um, I heard you're doing something Japanese. I'm going to have to watch that back and see. Um, so we'll discuss what kind of stuff we like. We're not big drinkers, as you know, but we'd like to have maybe a little cocktail that once in a while if we want to make and just cheers each other after the girls are going to bed after a long day. My goal is to respond to your videos on a regular basis. Now I can tell you, some days it might be from a cell phone if we're traveling or if I know it's going to be a crazy day. We might not be the highest quality, but I will commit to doing it on a daily basis or in every other day basis, you know, uh, response to your video. Um, I would love to hear, for those of you watching, in your comments, what you're doing to, to stay creative as well. Or if you have anything that you would like Matt and I to talk about, just about the business in general. I mean, Matt's been in the business for, what, 12, 13 years, right? Um, for me, it's 26 years as a professional makeup artist. 
if there's anything you want to talk about or anybody has any questions or can, you know, would love to know about the business in general, how we run an art-based business. I think Matt, that could be one of the things that we start talking about. Just, you know, off the cuff talking about what it's like to run, not only run a business, but to run an art-based business. Anyway, I think this is a really fun thing. I'm excited about it. I thank you for challenging me to do it. Um, I'm glad we're gonna be able to interact with each other. And even though we can't do it physically, one-on-one, -on -one, at least we can do it this way and maintain this connection and also see what ideas it sparks for forward momentum for Vita Workshop, which um, for those of you who don't know, you know, we've been pushing real hard for that. Matt has been spearheading it to have an online kind of educational resource um, for art-based creatives. Uh, and that'll expand as things change too. I mean, we don't know what's coming up next. All we can do, as I said earlier, is one foot in front of another with positive momentum and, uh, and do our best each day. So uh, I'm looking forward to your response. I didn't really put a lot of questions out in this one. This is more just to feel it out and kind of have fun doing it. So thank you for the challenge. I look forward to your video. Bye, everybody.